make sure that the presser pin is during that. Line up the rear cover. Finally lift up a little bit on our boot cover there. Again, make sure that the rear cover fits underneath it. Make sure we have everything together here. Attaching the rear front panel nicely. And we're going to reattach the two screws on the bottom. set plate, we're going to place it back into position. We have to be very, very careful of our micro switches. Once again, what we're going to do is we're going to hold on to those micro switches. We're going to keep them closed until we place them into position. We have the black lever on the outside here. Make sure that we have all the wires coming in front, not stuck behind the front set plate. switches, everything's lined up, there's no wires are being pinched, and at this point we'll start replacing our Phillips head screws. We have a screw in the bottom, we're going to pull down the handle, and we have a screw on the top. third screw, which holds the rear panel to the front set plate. Be careful to test our compressor foot lifter to make sure it's reacting with the switch as well. Now we have our lamp bracket, which houses our LED light, and we're going to place that back into position. We're going to grab the little Phillips head screw. screw and we'll screw that into position. Next we're going to take our little spring and we're going to attach it to our buttonhole lever and from our buttonhole lever we're going to bring it over to the thread lever. Make sure those hair pliers get a little bit of little spring loop here able to stretch it out and attach it to the thread lever. Now we're going to take the front bracket, which has our face plate on it, and we're going to put it 